Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Talks Trading. My name is Sky and I'm on a quest to invest. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about prog stock progenity. Prog stock has been on quite the run lately. It's been up nearly 58% in the past five trading days and more than 170% since early October. So those are some very nice gains. Maybe the question on a lot of people's minds, is it too late for investors to jump in now? And also how long will these gains last for current investors? So this is a biotech company that develops molecular testing products in the US. And they went public last year at $14 per share. And then actually they saw the price plummet to below a dollar. So Prague stock actually became a penny stock, but it is no longer a penny stock. Since September, shares have been on an absolute tear and they're now priced at nearly $5. And so, yeah, a lot of people think the train has left and, you know, they are standing at the train station, sad and alone, but that may not be the case. Bullishness towards Prog stock has been supported by its relevance among retail investors. As the share prices continue to rise, so has the company's popularity online on Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, etc. Um, basically the hub, the community of where retailer investors congregate. Actually, Progenity stock was the most frequently mentioned ticker on the main Reddit forums um, just a few days ago. It was uh, Progenity at number one, and then Rivian, then Lucid Motors, and then the SPDR S&P 500 ETF Trust, and at number five was Tesla. So it was more popular than all of those, including Tesla. So people are very bullish. And what you got to keep in mind is that once this bullish mentality spreads, the psychological factor becomes key. And, you know, you could almost say that Prog shares have become a quote-unquote meme target that have recently uh, traded more on momentum than on business fundamentals. Although, so I will say business fundamentals are also very strong, which we will get into in a second. There's also the short squeeze, gamma squeeze that is behind this rally. So yeah, FOMO starts to kick in and, and more and more people jump in. So let's talk about the short interest because short interest is at a high. Ortex suggests that short interest on prog stock is still as elevated as it was in mid-October. The latest data reveals a 26% short interest rate on the free float, only slightly less than the 27% uh, reported on October 15th. I mean, you got to remember that short interest, anything above 10% is considered very high. So yeah, 26% is a very nice short interest figure. And then we've got the undervalued fundamentals. Such a high short interest could be seen as not a red flag, but you know, maybe a yellow flag uh, when it comes to business fundamentals. But that is not the case for Progenity. They do have very strong business fundamentals, a lot of patents, a lot of very exciting upcoming partnerships. You also got to keep in mind that Prog is still 63% down from its IPO price, but the biotech sector is known for being high risk, high reward. The company is in the midst of changing its focus and tightening its expenditures. They reported third quarter earnings on November 10th, and it only had $182,000 in revenue and a net loss of $43.7 million. Um, those numbers were an improvement from the $52,000 in revenue and net loss of $47 million it reported in the same period a year ago. I think Prog stock will probably continue to be pretty volatile. But when you keep in mind that it recently received four patents connected with its GI tract delivery system for therapeutics, there's definitely a lot of long term optimism. They've also said that they have been beginning to implement several cost-cutting measures to improve profitability. You know, there's so much potential in Prog's 
pipeline as it has a portfolio of 180 patents and more than 220 pending patent applications. So I am definitely still bullish on Prog stock. I want to hear what you guys think. So let's just talk about some news, some general market news. Uh, Kathy Woods is very bullish on the stock market overall. Uh, the ARK founder expects the stock market's long-term bull run to actually continue despite high inflation and the pandemic worries. But she said, as long as we don't fall into a recession. Uh, she also said that we are in a long bull market that will sustain itself. She suggested that investors are optimistic that a new regime of corporate taxation will not materially impact price shares. And stock market indications suggest that high inflation may not last, she added. So that is positive because I know a lot of people have been saying quite the opposite. Next, I want to talk about Apple and, and their progress with their electric car. A report from Bloomberg suggests that the company is now targeting a fully self-driving electric car launch in 2025. Uh, faster than the five to seven year timeline that some engineers had expected as recently as earlier this year. The ideal design for the car would feature no steering wheel or pedals. And in at least one mock-up, passengers would face inwards towards each other. I'm not a huge fan of that, okay? Like, I don't care if it's a fully self-driving car. I still, I don't know, call me old-fashioned, but I want there to be a steering wheel, you know? Um, and I also don't want to look at the other passengers. <laughs> like, why would I want to do that? I want to look out the window. Imagine you've just got in like a huge fight with your significant other and you, you just have to stare at each other. Not a fan of that. I think, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I, don't, I really don't think anyone ever got into a car and was like, you know what would make this way better if we weren't facing forward if we were just facing towards each other. Uh, shares of Apple closed up nearly 3% on Thursday at a new all-time high of $157.87. So guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.